are you guys ready to ditch the drama? I know I am. With all of the changes going on right now, people's emotions are up and down and up and down, and that is causing a lot of fear and a lot of drama. So if you are ready to ditch the drama, stick around for this live video because we're gonna teach you three simple techniques on how to eliminate all of that negative energy in your life. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because it's like we're always dealing with this. You know, people were sending us messages and we've been helping people with this for years now. It doesn't take a pandemic to realize that there's drama in our lives. Sometimes we marry it, sometimes we work with hey. it. It's, hey, it's true. <laughs> there, there, are, there are so many people that, you know, we deal with a lot of empaths who are dealing with narcissists in their life. And that's going to be there whether something's going wrong in the world or something's going wrong at home. And so you have to, you have to get to a spot where you realize that if you can deal with the drama, you can make your life so much easier. Oh my gosh. If you're just tuning in, I'm Britt and this is Chris Carmichael. And together we have founded the Elevated Life series where we teach you these simple mindset shifts to create radical transformation. And this topic has been a major um, point of conversation in the Elevated Life with our coaching clients. So many people have reached out and said, oh my gosh, I'm in all of these groups and texts and blah, 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 and there's so much drama and fear and I just don't know what to do. And it got me thinking, I actually have a card from the Shine from the inside oracle called stay away from drama and this is going to be the theme for today's topic and and we're going to share our three tips on how you can eliminate it because listen drama drains your energy and as an empath we 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 survive on our levels of energy and if we don't know how to protect it if we don't know how to um, create those boundaries then it can literally drain us dry yeah so the first tip we have for you is to not engage. Just don't engage at all. If you've ever noticed what happens to a fire is if you continuously pour accelerant on it, and if you continue to fan the flames, it gets bigger and worse. And so the drama typically just builds up. When you go into a person's drama, where you meet them at that victim mentality, and they're upset with the world, and they're blaming things, and they're complaining, and you add to it, it just gets worse. And a lot of times what ends up happening is that person's energy gets so high that they start to deflect the blame, and they start to move it onto us, even if they're mad at something different. So it's really easy to get into that spot if you're in a relationship, especially if you're in a car with somebody and they're starting to get upset. So the best part you can do is not engage. Think about that same fire we just talked about. If you don't fan the flames, and if you don't pour any kind of accelerant on it, the fire dies out. Yeah. So it's to let the person expend their own energy. Yeah, and there's two different ways that you can not engage. The first one is literally not engaging. Either not replying, deleting, like whatever the kid, like if you have the ability to just zero reply, nothing like, my, my, um, my way is always like, mm, gotta go to the bathroom, sorry. <laughs> but if you're in person and you can't use the bathroom excuse, then there's this technique called the gray rock method. And this is literally becoming the most most boring gray rock so that people aren't interested in engaging with you they are trying to get that emotion and that rouse so that you'll reflect and match their energy but if you pretend to be a boring ass gray rock they're just gonna lose interest because you're not fanning the flames yeah this is so good too because if you're an empath a lot of times when people have a lot of negative energy around you you absorb it and then you start to feel bad and you start to wonder like is the world really a great place? Is this a place I really want to be in? And it starts to make you question things. You question, am I loving? Am I loved? Does it matter? Are things good? And you come to a really, you can get in a really dark spot because of that. And so this gray rock method is perfect. Use your imagination when you get into a situation like this and picture yourself as that gray rock and just be as dull and as boring and non-emotional. That's what we're talking about, not fanning the flames. You just become non-emotional. Mm -hmm. You don't match their energy level. You don't rise up to it. You just stay nice and calm. You're just like, oh, okay. And that's it. Don't offer advice. If, if people need advice, they need to sign up with a therapist. Unless you're a therapist, you don't need to help or heal people. Just relax around them and see what happens. Yeah, and another thing that you can do is be your boring, non-emotional self and surround yourself in positive, white, glowing energy because that's gonna kind of repel any negative energy. They're gonna be like, I don't like that light. Get away from me. So be a boring gray rock, non-emotional, with this like intention of like, I am surrounded and protected by this like shield of glowing light and nothing negative can penetrate this. And that will help to disconnect that negative energy, especially when you're in person. Yeah, so the second tip is to do a drama detox. 
We are doing this big time in our Elevated Life Membership Club this month because we were talking about productivity. And you realize that if your mind's constantly engaged in what other people are doing or what other people are saying or what's going on with them and the battles that they're putting on and stuff like that, you're not focused on whatever your great mission and purpose is. And so one of the ways to get rid of all that is to start to detox your social media, your friends, to start looking at it and saying, is this a positive light in my life? Is this something that I continuously need? I think we forget to do that. And this doesn't mean escape your friends. This doesn't mean you run away from your friends. This doesn't mean ditch your family. But it means taking a hard look at how you're spending your time. But maybe and, it does. And who you're spending it with. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to take that sharp look and you have to be willing to do things that are uncomfortable. I know for empaths, this is really hard to do because you can step on some toes. You can make some people upset. Especially that, if you're a people-pleasing empath. Yeah, but think about how much they're upsetting you inside and how much that is you know, destroying your happiness in life. And so be okay with stepping on some toast. Sometimes you gotta crack a few eggs, you know? Just, it's just the way that it goes. Yeah, and if you're struggling with being an empath and using your sensitivity as a superpower, then that's exactly what we're covering next month inside the Elevated Life membership. So if you didn't catch this month's productivity and you're an empath and you're like, I don't know, I'm so overwhelmed, you must join the Elevated Life now to catch the Badass Empath Masterclass coming up in May. All right, I would just wanna take a moment to say hello Hello to everyone who's watching live. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let us know, are you dealing with a lot of drama in your life right now? Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Like what is the biggest source of drama that is draining your energy in your life right now? Yeah, so the tip number three. Yep. Find and commit to the things that absolutely bring you joy. This is always the antidote to drama, is to focus 100% of your attention on the things that you absolutely love doing. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, a lot of times, you'll find more people that are doing the same thing. And then those people become your new friend group or additions to your friend group. And you start to spend a little more time with them. They're enjoying life. They're going after what they want. They're enthusiastic. They're confident. They're brave. They're becoming a leader. They're not just angry at the world. And so find those things that absolutely spark that just bliss inside of you to where you're just, all of your systems are turned on, you're excited to wake up, you're excited to go to sleep and wake up the next morning and say, oh my gosh, I can do it all over again. I love this. Find those things and commit 200% to them. So it's time to ditch the drama and it is up to you. You have the responsibility and the choice to be able to walk away from the drama instead of engaging. It takes courage and it certainly takes practice to live that elevated standard of not being able to engage in the drama whenever you are being attacked or whatever. We can't take it personally. We have to know that other people's drama, other people's fear, other people's judgment, other people's bullshit is their own. And it's important for us to not take responsibility for their drama, but take responsibility for our actions and have the courage to walk away from the things that are draining us. Gosh, that's so powerful. So think about this now. Yeah. What's the one big thing in your life that's causing the most drama? And do you have a way that you can either get away from it, you can distance yourself. I can't get away from this cat. You can eliminate it. <laughs> Look, Noodles always joins us for the lives. He always wants to talk to y'all. He gets excited too. The energy always raises when we do he's this. Letting, yeah, he's letting you guys know, like, no more drama. This the drama. Noodles run around screaming, this the drama. He is. He's screaming, no more drama. <laughs> so I want to know, what would it feel like to let go of all the drama in your life so that you're not trying to people please and you're not trying to, like, engage? Even though you care about people that are bringing you the drama, it, if you really care, you won't engage and allow them to stay on that shitty trip. Sherry says, I didn't engage with my neighbor, but Lord, could I pick up the energies? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. And that's true. Empaths can read between the lines. And when you take a break to, to stop engaging with the drama, you can actually see from a pretty clear perspective that their drama is their crazy, their bullshit. And it has nothing to do with you. But it takes a moment to step away, to take a nice long deep breath, and to like disconnect from that automatic response of like reacting to somebody drama and having that spiritual response of taking a breath and going I know this isn't mine I'm gonna let them be there crazy and I'm not engaging yeah and the other thing that I really like to do something that's really effective is if someone is negative around you and you find yourself kind of getting into that negative mindset with them what you have to do is the mind really responds to repetition and so what you want to do when you get away from that person is to start to surround, surround yourself with things that are amazing. Things that are really positive, mm -hmm. messages that are positive, quotes that are positive, movies that are positive, nudes. Uh, nudes. nudes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there you go. Surround yourself with good nudes. But, but, but really though, 
You have. Did you mean to, did you mean to say good news? Good news. Okay. Yeah. Watch those animal videos. Don't lie. <laughs> and, and, and really, we have to constantly use repetition in the mind. So if you've been around multiple negative people, if the people in your main life, people you're quarantined with, are going through negative times, you need to distance yourself away from them. Just go into a different room and then start to repeat to yourself positive messages until your mind grabs onto those harder. And sometimes you have to do it a lot and you have to emotionalize them. But doing that means that you won't go wherever they're going. You won't stay in whatever position they're in or whatever negativity or fear-based thinking that they're into. Yeah. Just allow yourself to, to move over a little bit and to start repeating to yourself the positive messages that you know you need. Otherwise, you will end up right with them and you'll be the drama person in someone else's life and they'll be not engaging with you. Yeah, so if you need that positive community to surround yourself with elevators who are on a mission to raise the vibration and ditch the drama, then come join us inside the Elevated Life Membership Club. Noodles will be in there to welcome you guys in <laughs> and say hello. We are so grateful that you guys join us here every Friday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time here on the Elevated Life Series where we teach you these simple mindset shifts to create radical transformation in your life. So if you know someone who needs this message, please tag them or share the video, subscribe, like, whatever you gotta do <laughs> to spread the good vibes and we will see you guys next week here on the Elevated Life. We love you guys so much and let us know what drama are you dealing with right now and what's one step what's one action step that you could take to help eliminate that drama be sure to go on that drama detox we have our elevators doing it for the next 21 days because it takes 21 days to make a habit so if you start detoxing all the drama in your life now and you do it over the course of 21 days you'll be surprised at how elevated powerful high vibrational and happy especially if you feel it because when we let go of things we've got it there's a vacuum we got to create space you know when we create space, we got to fill it. So when we fill it with the things that bring us joy, you'll be surprised at how great your life can be with simple changes. You don't have to, you know, like move across the country to make these kind of changes. It's just simple perspective shifts. Oof. Thank you guys so much for tuning in here on the Elevated Life Series. We will catch you guys next Friday. Peace.